Phoenix Logistics has been dealing in the textile business since 2001 and was exporting garments under the much vaunted African Growth and Opportunity Act. But the farm has been given away, leaving over 150 workers who have not been paid for one year and seven months stranded. I have children to go to school, I have a house rent to pay, I have my parents to look after, food, all the uh, items that I need at home, I need, I get them from the salary. Our bosses, when they decide to pay us, they pay us in percentages. Whereby, a worker down, the one who is earning less money, she goes with very little money. According to Keith Mahakanizi, who is the Secretary to Treasury, the giver of the textile farm was inevitable because it was making losses. If you are uh, ready to go to manufacture of, of, of textiles, you are highly welcome, we shall provide you the land, like we have done. And there is no apology about it. There is no corruption about it. It's on top of the table. I asked Mahakanizi, when government is planning to pay the workers? Government, within the, within the framework of the laws of Uganda, will see how to compensate anybody. Uh, including the workers, if, if they need be. The management of the company told NTV that they were shocked to learn that the company had been given away to another investor without their knowledge. Speaking to NTV, the acting financial controller, Yusuf Luanga, says they were not consulted about the sale. Government owns 95% shares in the farm. On Tuesday, we were just surprised to see these Indians coming that they've come to inspect their property. We were promised that our dues will be paid before or you've been making losses. Why do you think government should care so much to come in for your rescue or pay you, yet what you should have been paid is supposed to be coming from the very company? I think we have a right to claim for Aliba. Whenever we speak uh, to the secretary, he said, as workers leaders, we are not supposed to be involved, which is very, very, um, unfortunate. In a letter authorized by President William Museveni, dated 12th February 2015, MS Fine Spinners requested to acquire Phoenix Logistics under Elise. We were surprised that in the, in the wording, the even if the president even refers to a, an operating company as former Phoenix. What surprises the management of Phoenix Limited is the fact that the office of the president gave them an order of making 9,000 collarless t-shirts and 1,000 uh, collar t-shirts, all totaling to about 120 million shillings. And Nablia Robina is busy working in ensuring that she beats the deadline. According to Daniel Opara, the marketing manager of Phoenix Logistics, the business collapsed after government failed to implement the national textile industry policy which provides for subsidized tariffs and low interest loans. While I would be selling a round neck t-shirt because of the other high input costs at about 10,000 shillings, the Kenyans or Tanzanians or the, or, or the Ethiopians are selling at half the price. Do you think government got value for money in this uh, Phoenix logistics? Uh, no. That's why we have given it to another investor. So who do we blame? Because uh, by the time let, you... No, no, let me... Because, no, no, because this, no, 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 before answer. this starts, no, 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 I, I thought there are experts no, who... Don't answer yourself. Mm -hmm. Let allow me to answer yourself. In the business, all over the world, whether it is the, under communism, socialism, or capitalism, business fail. As the farm lies in limbo, some of its equipment continues to rust. It's not yet clear when the salary areas of the employees which has accumulated to 2 billion shillings, will be paid. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.